Alright, so just like... Alright, so in this video, we have example 3 and example 4. So example 3 states that, in how many ways can 3,000 identical envelopes be divided into packages of 25 among 4 students so that each group gets at least 150 envelopes but no more than 1,000 envelopes. Alright, so there are 3,000 envelopes and yeah, 4 students, they have to get at least 150 to 1,000 and each package is divided into 25 pieces. So the first thing you want to do is change it into units of one. So each package has just one envelope. All right. So you just divide everything by 25. So if you have 3,000 divided by 25, that will give you. All right. Let's see. 3,000 divided by 25, and that's equal to 120. If you have um, 150 packages minimum, or 150 envelopes, I think that will give you, let's see, 156. So that will give you 6. And 1,000 envelopes divided by 25 should give you, I think, 40. So that will give you 40. Alright. So now we're looking for the coefficient of x to the power of 120. So we're looking for x to the power of 120. Alright, so let's start by setting up the problem. So we have the minimum you can have is 6. So you start from x to the power of 6. So x to the 6 is the minimum. And the maximum is x to the power of 40. So plus 7, plus 8, plus all the way till x to the power of 40. And that will be to the power of 4. Since that applies for each group, and there are 4 groups. So you have 4 students. So for each student, you have x to the 6. Or you can have either 6 envelopes or 40 envelopes. So you can have from 6 all, all the way to 40. Alright. So this will be equal to x to the power of 120. So now we're going to factor out an x to the power of 6 from this equation. So you're going to have um, x to the power of 6, 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed all the way till x to the power of I think 32 and all of this will be raised to the power of 4 equal to 120 so now you're going to factor out the x to the 6 outside the power bracket you should get x to the power of 24 outside times 1 plus x plus x squared and all the way till x to the power of oh sorry that's actually to the power of 34. So here you have 34. And that will give you x to the power of 120. So the next step is to divide by x to the power of 24. So you'll have 1 plus x plus x squared. That will be raised to the power of 4. That will be equal to x to the power of 120 minus 24, that's equal to x to the power of 96. Okay, so our question is, find x, the coefficient of x to the power of 96 in this equation here. Alright, so we have, in the bottom, you have 1 minus x. Since we're, go, we're going 1, x squared, x, x, x squared, x to the power of 3, and so on. But we stop at x to the power of 34 so on top you're gonna have 1 minus x to the power of 35 and again everything is raised to the power of 4 alright so this can be rewritten as 1 minus x um, to the power of 35 
raised to the power of 4 times 1 minus x raised to the power of negative 4. So we can expand this using the, um, the list we did, I think, two videos ago. So you get 1 minus x to the power of 35 to the power of 4. That's going to give you um, 4 choose 0 times um, x to the power of 0 plus 4 choose 1 times x to the power of um, 35 plus 4 choose 2 times x to the power of 70 plus 4 choose 3 times x to the power of plus 4 choose 4 times x to the power of 140 <coughs> and all of this is just the first term so all of that will be multiplied by so multiplied by the expansion for this which is going to be negative 4 choose 0 plus negative 4 choose 1 times negative x plus negative 4 choose 2 times negative x squared plus negative 4 to the power of 3 times negative x to the power of 3 and so on and so forth. This will go on forever. Alright, so we're looking for x to the power of 96 here. So, find x to the power of 96. So our main goal is to combine an x from the first term and an x with the second term. So if you take x0 here, then you must take x to the power of 96 in the bottom. So the sum of both uh, from the top and the bottom must be equal to 96. So if you take 35, then you take 96 minus 35, and you find it in the second equation. So you have 4 to 0 times x to the 0 multiplied by, then you must pick x to the power of 96. So you'll have negative 4 times 96. Um, that'll be x to the power of 96. So that's the first case. The second case is if you take x to the power of 35. So you have 4 choose 1 times x to the power of 35. And that means that you have um, 96 minus 35. So you have 96 minus 35. So you have 61 left. So that will give you negative 4 to the power to 61 times x to the power of 61. Plus... 4 choose 2 times x to the power of 70. So we multiply it by, let's see, 96 minus 70. That'll be 26. That'll give you 4 choose, negative 4 choose 26 times x to the power of 26. So notice that those two sum to 96. Those two sum to 96. Those two sum to 96. And that's it. We can't go anymore because. Any more terms, you have 105, which is greater than 96. So you stop, you stop there. And that's pretty much our answer. So if you factor out the, um, if you find the, the answer for this, expand this, um, just place minus ones instead of the x's, and you're good to go. That's your answer for it. So we have one times negative 1 to the power of 96 times 99 choose 96 times negative 1 to the power of 96 plus um, that'll be 4 times negative 4 to the power of 61 times negative 1 to the power of 61 plus um, 4 choose 2 is 6, so 6 times um, t, negative, that will be 29, choose 26, times negative 1 to the power of 26. And I'll just rewrite this as 
64 and this is your answer right here all right so I hope this video made some sense um, there's one more example coming up so don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video